Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood Shano here, about to bring you another Injustice Guide to Mugs video. In this video, we have Battle 33 triplets with silver cards, Nightwing, Green Lantern, and Sinestro in the first three battles against the Harley Quinn trio, which has a silver, bronze, and a gold card, all three of which do not have a whole lot of life. So we're about to start this battle here. As you can see, we have Nightwing started off against Harley Quinn. And the interesting thing about Nightwing is that combined with Green Lantern, he will always beat characters to the first bar, even if he does all the attacks. As you can see, I'm already at two bars. And power draining Harley Quinn before she can use her first ability. So we're just going to continue to melee away with her, and we're going to use another power drain as she's in the middle of a cartwheel. And takes about 400 damage, so we're just continuing to chip away at Harley Quinn. Get up to a level 2, and the bronze Harley Quinn is in. And cartwheel for about... 700 damage there. Takes out a little bit of Nightwing's life. So we're at three bars, and we switch off the Green Lantern, who takes a couple cartwheels. And now Silver Harley Quinn is back in and almost obliterates Green Lantern, so we're going to get off his level 3 ability, which is very devastating looking. I really wish they had him as a gold card, because that just looks so awesome. And that knocks out the Silver Harley Quinn, so now the Bronze Harley Quinn is back in. And chipping away at Harley Quinn's life. And the cartwheel is enough to finish off Green Lantern. So we got Sinestro in there, we're just going to melee away at Harley Quinn. That way we have two specials for the Gold Harley Quinn. So she tags out Bag of Tricks, which is the health gain, which does nothing. So we're going to get off Sinestro's Might. Which is very cool looking as well. And it does 3,415 damage. So now Nightwing is going to get off his level 3 ability. And Harley Quinn should be pretty low on life. Or eliminated. And this also looks sweet. So 3,506 damage. Silver Harley Quinn. Or Bronze Harley Quinn tagged back in. Throw the bomb for 789 and a pop pop does eliminate nightwing however snaysaw is at full life and we're gonna get off a death from above and there is the easy victory in the first fight with just silver cards 8340 xp for that first fight as you can see these cards are level 28 so they are level for the content 1070 credits and our second fight, we have Silver Flash, who has 4,800 life. Then we have two Flashes that barely hit 2,000 life. Begin. So basically the same strategy goes. For this fight, you want to just chip away at Flash and Power Green until he gets his momentum up, giving Green Lantern and Sinatra time to get their bars up. So Power Drain there. For about 200 blocks. And we're up to two bars. However, we're going to Power Drain again. That way the Flash can't do any moves. And that one hits for about 200 again. And as you can see, Nightwing continues to build power faster than the Flash. So we're going to use a Kali Fury. And that does knock out the Silver Flash. So we're just going to melee away on this Flash. And Power Drain. And that puts him under one bar because Silver Nightwing does a bar and a half. And we were getting cocky there trying to use... Akali Fury, however, he gets kicked and then kicked again, and Nightwing is eliminated. So, as you can see, silver cards without promotions don't have a lot of life. So, we're going to throw bombs at this Flash and get rid of him. And this Flash is pretty academic. He gets off one kick, and we're going to get off Sinestro's Might and quickly end the second fight before you can upset somebody else. And all three of these guys have awesome looking and finishing moves and work really well together considering Nightwing can slow people down enough to build their bars. 8,361 XP in the second fight and 1,090 credits. So in the third easy matchup of Battle 33 Trippets, we have three Green Lanterns. The first has 7,000 health, and the second two have just over 2,000 life. And 
Nightwing can out melee Green Lantern, so all you really have to do is chip away at him and power drain when you have the abilities. And of course, watch for his bar because you don't want to power drain too early. Like right now is a good time to power drain because he'll go under a bar. As you can see, Nightwing almost has a bar again. So we're going to power drain again. That way, Nightwing or Green Lantern can't get any moves off. And beats Green Lantern in the bar again. So basically, just melee, power drain, melee, power drain. And either Green Lantern will tag out or get eliminated if he doesn't tag out. And as you can see, Green Lantern and Sinestro have one bar. Now I've already power drained about five times. So a lot of power generation here. And as you can see, Green Lantern has not got one special move off. And I've already taken over 4,000 life. So we're going to get a Kali Fury on this Green Lantern. Nice damage, although it was blocked. And thank you for the subscription there. Axel King HD. And Power Drain stopped Green Lantern again from getting any special moves off. As you can see, Green Lantern and Sinestro are now up to three bars. So Power Drain again. And we're going to tag into Sinestro and get rid of Green Lantern. Basically, not being able to do anything because he continuously gets power drain. So there's the elimination on that Green Lantern. 11.34 for a Turbine Smash. And we're going to get off Green Lantern's power battery. Three thousand four hundred fifteen damage, and there's easy victory in third fight with just silver cards. Eight thousand three hundred eighty-two XP, as they almost all level to twenty-nine. One thousand one hundred ten credits in the third fight. So now the lineup gets a little bit tougher here. We're going to use Batman. Gold Batman. We're going to use Black, Black Adam, and we're going to use Stroke. Deathstroke. Uh, we're looking at the health of the card, we decided that it might be better to just use a little stronger card, so we decided to break out the Red Sun pack, who are all level 30. We've got Mother Russia, Red Sun Superman, who does have a Kryptonian Smash to use, and Wonder Woman. And as you can see, Superman can probably wipe out all these guys by himself with 45% extra melee damage, 45% power drain, 45% health. So we're going to start off on Bane. As you can see, he melees for 370 damage, and even on 10,000 life, puts a noticeable dent in his life bar. And he's already at two bars, and Mother Russia and Wonder Woman do not even have a bar. Eats a Rage Slam there, and then starts melee away on Bane. As you can see, we have enough for a Kryptonian Smash, and this will either put Bane very low on life or eliminate him, as it does in the neighborhood of 7,000 damage. That was enough to eliminate him, and now the Gold Bane is in. As you can see, the Red Sun team is finally up to a bar, and Superman has already used one Kryptonian Smash. And gets up to the second bar. Blocks a couple slams there. Raid Slam 1984 does not get blocked. As you can see, Superman is still over half-life, and nobody has tagged in. So we're going to get off a second Kryptonian Smash of the night. And... Superman is dominating by himself with no promotions. And this gives you an idea of how strong the Red Sun pack really is. So that Bane is eliminated. Now we have the Silver Bane to deal with. And we're going to get off a Flying Punch just to chip away his life. And Mother Russia comes in with his Graveyard Rot because Bane is a fat fuck and needs to get eliminated. Grabs his arm, throws him, and now he's going to smash him over the head of the tombstone. Sweet looking move. Bad character. 6,336 damage. Does not have a whole lot of life left. So we're just going to punch away at him. And there's the easy victory in the fourth fight for the Red Sun team. As you can see, Solomon Grundy barely took any damage. 8,403 XP. 1,130 credits in the fourth fight. And in the fifth fight, we have the Batman Trio. Two of which have over 10,000 health, one has 9,000 health, up from about 6,000 for when the Batman Beyond fight got buffed. And as you can see, still doing a lot of damage on Batman. So 
explosive batarang hits for about 1200, not blocked. And for some reason, Batman doesn't attack after the stun, which is rather weird. So, Kryptonian Smash is available. We're just gonna melee away at this Batman. He doesn't have a whole lot of life left, and it will overkill him. So, I'm waiting for another Batman to come in. And there is Batman Beyond, close to battery rate for about 700. And the Kryptonian Smash should put him at about one quarter life, as he only has about 9,000 life. Very close to killing him. 7,920 damage. Wonder Woman's almost at three bars. We're going to get off after a block of explosive battery for 700. We're going to get Mother Russia in. Who's going to get pissed off at Batman and cut him up in the ribbon and hit him over the head with a tombstone? Obliterating him. So we've got Way of the Bat, which is blocked for about 4,000 damage, and we're going to get off a Justice Javelin. Which hits for 6,480 damage. And we're going to get Red Sun Superman back in. Is that two bars? We're going to get off a Man of Steel. However, he ducks the punch. Heat Vision for 2,000. And the Crush for 1774 wipes out that Batman. And one punch wipes out Batman Beyond. So that's an easy victory in the fifth fight. 8,424 XP for the Red Sun team, who is level 30. 1,150 credits in the fifth battle. And the final fight, we have three Supermans, one of which has 11,000 health. One of which has 13,000 health, and Prison Superman has just over 8,000 health. Clearly the weakest of the three cards, even with super health. So we're going to start on Superman here, as he's blocking quite a few attacks to start. And hits for about 200. As you can see, Superman is already at his third bar, so we're going to get off his first Kryptonian Smash as Superman on the other team barely hits a bar. So as you can see, that 45% power generation is ridiculous. 7,920 damage. Superman tags out to the regular Superman. Flying Punch, 1,014 block. Flying Punch, 2,120 not block. And we're about to get off a Kryptonian Smash, which will put Superman at low life or eliminate him. That does KO him. Flying Punch, 1210 blocked. Just pummel away on Prison Superman here. As you can see, his bar goes down really quick. So at two bars, we're going to get off a Man of Steel. Which looks like it's going to hit for about 3,100. Heat Vision, 38-36. You cannot block that. The only character's attack you can't block that isn't a level 3 or Doomsday Silver hero killer. So that is enough to finish off that Superman. And we're going to end this fight with... Solomon Grundy getting pissed off and eating Prison Superman alive. I am Mother Russia. I fat fuck. I smash you over the head with a tombstone. Pretending I'm a wrestler. And there's the easy victory in the final fight of Battle 33. 8,444 XP. 1,170 credits if you repeat this fight. 3,470 credits if you do it for the first time. If you like this little video of Battle 33 without Black Adam, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other YouTube videos playlist, my Facebook and Twitter, which are both Hollywood Shono, and have a wonderful day, kids.